How's it going guys? This is Joel from Dog Theory and today I'm going to show you how to destroy the boss enemies in Disaster Blaster. We're starting here with uh, a new game and I'm going to use a cheat to unlock all the levels so we can go straight to the bosses. So there it goes, everything's unlocked and moving to the first boss. Uh, this is the breaker boss which is similar to a lot of the enemies you run into in the first world that break into pieces so this is a big one that breaks into smaller pieces that break into smaller that break into even smaller pieces uh, so the challenge here is really uh, this sort of chaotic random movement that's typical of a lot of levels of disaster blaster and this uh this is usually the first level uh, that i recommend people play like if you're trying this game at a, at a expo uh, this is kind of the level i sort of point you towards as just being a good uh, example of the type of gameplay that you can expect in Disaster Blaster. So, uh, one strategy that works for me in this level uh, is basically to start with a powerful weapon like the laser or the big bullet um, and kind of deal damage on these bigger yellow blocks as much as you can and then when you're ready switch to a wider beam or like a balanced uh, weapon and sort of clean up the little ones. Uh, keep an eye on the chain combo meter here. It's going to get up close to 100 but not quite uh, for optimal scoring you really want to get up to 100, and uh, see my top chain there was 91, so I didn't quite get the maximum bonus. But uh, So that's it for the Breaker boss, and uh, we're going to move on and do the World 2 boss. This is the Inflator boss, which is the larger boss version of the Expander enemy, uh, which is introduced in World 2. Like some of the bosses, it doesn't attack you directly. What it does is expand and take up more space as it takes damage. So its attack is really constricting the amount of screen space the player has to move around in. And uh, the weapons are around the edge of the room here. I'm going to go get the laser. Uh, the laser tends to do really well against hard targets. So l large enemies that take lots of damage, really, you can really wail on them with the laser. And I just want to hover near, uh, just close enough to be able to catch the edge or corner of this large enemy as I float around and avoid the small ones. Uh, there's also gaps in the wall, like on the left here, I'm hiding in this little gap, and that's a useful means of escape. So, almost got him. There. Uh, World 3 boss is the sniper boss, which is a bullet shooting enemy that spawns other smaller bullet shooting enemies. Now, this is one of my favorite boss enemies in the game, I really enjoy fighting this one. That's also one of the ones that I've had the most trouble with. I've been like literally stuck on this for maybe days before and just unable to... Other times I do it on my first try. As you can see, it's uh, you can take him down pretty quickly if you're able to just get the powerful weapon and go directly at him. And uh, that was a winning strategy for me in this one. The fourth world boss uh, that you're going to see right here is called Flower, and uh, the Flower boss is special because it's one of the defensive bosses, meaning uh, some of the bosses will attack you directly, some create random attacks, and some of them, the defensive type uh, enemies, will uh, basically absorb attacks that you shoot at them and then fire back. So you see the shields around it kind of filling up, the pink blocks filling up bright pink, and when they're completely full they explode in a random spread of bullets. Uh, to further complicate things, you have these green container enemies floating around, and they have this little green eye that's kind of their weak point. Uh, so if your bullets hit the green eye, uh, it will damage it, but if the enemy bullets hit that green eye, it will spawn these little yellow uh, fragments that bounce randomly around the level. So as you're attacking, it's creating more attacks coming back at you, and it's creating this sort of random uh, spread of junk that's getting in your way and messing you up, but at the same time is feeding your chain combo. Uh, I found the defensive enemies, uh, this, including this one, are some of the tougher boss enemies in the game. It looks like I've destroyed most of its shields, and there it goes, destroyed. This is the World 5 boss, uh, its name is Destroyer. What it does is spawn uh, enemies that drop bombs and grenades, and it also releases uh, its own bombs and grenades that can chain react with other ones. So a grenade releases a bullet that hits another grenade, which explodes, releases bullets, which hits other grenades and chains. It also has these sort of brown, orange looking uh, exploder enemies that will uh, basically they can absorb enemy shots, or when you get near them, they build up like a damage count and then explode. So uh, it just launches lots of randomly exploding things, it does not uh, attack you directly. Uh, yeah, it, 
it's kind of like the breaker boss. It's, its actions are more based on random and chaos than actually aiming at you. The next boss I'm going to show you here is the larger boss version of the container enemy. So we have a large green uh, kind of container that has three of these uh, target points, or like I think of them as eyes. It has three eyes. And it will launch random bullets from its, uh, from its eyes and also releases these minions, which you know, they have their own different combinations of attacks. Uh, the orange breaker pieces will break apart, and then the larger green leapers can leap, and when they touch the orange fragments, they transform them into bullets. So you have the uh, boss enemy launching shots at you, and also shots coming from sort of random angles uh, as these other enemies leap around the room. I'm using a laser here, which is probably... Uh, it does deal the most damage. Uh, it has one of the lower fire rates, but I find it's a pretty effective weapon for most of these boss rounds. The seventh world boss is named Gladiator, and it is another defensive type boss, like the flower enemy. Uh, it has these three shields in front that are that absorb uh, bullets, and when the meter, the visual counter is full, releases a counter attack. The smaller shields on the top and bottom release like a, a three bullet burst, and the larger one in the center releases like a wider five bullet burst. It also has direct attacks that include like these big kind of clusters of bullets, also the uh, heat-seeking uh, rocket things that you see there, the red things. Uh, so it has a, a variety of attacks that uh, it launches randomly, and also it's very tough to damage it. Uh, the, the weak spots are really the corners. You can see where the shield retracts the, the corner of the block is exposed, and that's what you want to do for on this one. Final boss battle I'm going to show you guys is the World 8 boss. This is the famous tentacle boss uh, that so many players like to challenge when I take this game to expos. And uh, it does have a direct attack, but its main uh, the main danger to you is from the tentacles. It will launch these sort of slow moving uh, random spreads of bullets from the center, and then the tentacle tips can redirect and accelerate them toward you. So it kind of uh, it releases a big spread of bullets and then will swap them back at you. Uh, and those are the attacks that come from, from odd angles and that you really have to watch out for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick run through of the boss levels in Disaster Blaster. Uh, you might notice I didn't get killed at all in this video. Uh, this did, however, take me uh, maybe an hour to record and I was killed several times during the making of this. Uh, more than a few times. So. Uh, this game is available on itch.io for $2 and is currently in Steam Greenlight, so if you are a Steam player, uh, check out the Greenlight page and vote for it. You can find more videos of this and other games at www.dogtheorygames.com. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.